Hi everybody, PJ here. Not my diet. <laughs> right, I thought it was in Il Ilkeston. According to this here, it says Dragon Asphalt and it says Stanton. So I must be in St Stanton, not Ilkeston. But anyway, what have we got here? This looks like, let's just turn the camera around. A brand new asphalt complex. It's mint. There's uh, not a mark on it anywhere, and it looks like there's people still working on it. How about this place in Tokyo? Yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah. Is it? It looks uh, immaculately immaculate. Yeah. Is it new? How long has it been open? Three weeks. All oh, right. Okay. So right. <laughs> What they're doing up there, just making sure everything's working, unky dory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are, ah. you are you filming? Are you filming yeah? I make YouTube videos. Oh, all right, okay. Uh, mostly about industry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're weird next door, though, aren't they? Oh, I have no idea. No idea, mate. Oh, uh, yeah, I did. Um, I was talking to the people that do the tyre recycling, and I'm on their property, and they come up and he goes, You can't come on our site. <laughs> no, on your site, mate. Tyre man weren't very happy at all. No, we've been open three weeks. Been here for about seven months. All right. Been open for three weeks. So. Can I just, as long as I stay in car park, can I have a walk round and do a bit of video in? You can, you can walk up to the car park. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to tell me a bit about it as we're walking well, around? You can do. There's some customers coming in the next 20 minutes. You might, if you hang about, you can see them being loaded. All right. I have seen the one at um, Sheffield, yeah. the tarmac place. Aggregate Industries, or. Uh, no, it is. It might be agri industries. Is it no, 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 no. It's um, it's more or less in the middle of Sheffield, oh, yeah. and they've got the concrete place yeah, and the ash. Yeah, Semex. Yeah. Do you know it's a Mexican company that? I used to work for Semex. Yeah. You worked for them, did you? Yeah, in Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you, I can't tell you well then, can I? I've worked for EI as well. You've what, sorry? I've worked for Aggregate Industries as well. All right. Sheffield, so I've been running them all. Yeah, yeah. One or two. Yeah. Right, so what's, I take it this is some kind of conveyor belt here, is it? No, no, so. So the stuff goes up there and loads into the vehicles below. Yeah, so how it gets up, there's a little, like a skip, what we call it. Yeah. A little bogey. It goes up on rails, on ropes. Oh, so it's not a the conveyor tube. then? No. All right, so okay. It, it collects the material. Right. Little, you know, like in the old, in the pits, like the little carts in the pits, yeah. just like that. And it drops it in, there's four bins inside. Right. So it drops it in one of the four bins. Right. And store it, the storage, storage hoppers. And it can drop it's it. It's got to maintain temperature though, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll stay warm for about three or four hours. Right. And lined and heated. They're lined and heated? Yeah. Okay. Is that, a, are they on way bridges underneath? No, no. No, the way bridges are over here. Two, two way bridges. Yeah, you got one yeah. coming and one going out. Yeah, uh, we've got two in and one out, so this is for agri uh, aggregate deliveries. Right. So, so we can keep it separate from the little guys. Now, if I'm not mistaken, when the aggregate comes in, you, you have to heat it before you put the bitumen on. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, see, I do know, you know, I do know a you bit. Been around, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've, oh, I've been around, mate. Well, yeah, I can tell you. All the stock is in the far top corner. Yeah. It's segregated into single size bays. Yeah. Uh, and then the shovel driver. We'll put the material on the hoppers. Depending on what the customer wants. Yes. Yeah. They'll bring it through the plant, through the dryer. You can just see the shiny drum through the back. Yeah. That goes through the dryer, through a flame. That heats the stone up to 180, 190. How long is it in there? Oh, minutes. Oh, Five that minutes quick? Max. Yeah, yeah. Right. It probably takes about six or seven minutes to get from bucket to... Coming out at yeah. the bottom. Right. And it goes up, it goes up shaft at the top, up an elevator, series of buckets, yeah. on a chain, throws it down this chute at the back, onto the screen, vibrating screen, into the aggregate bins, right. store, into the way hopper, into the mixer, and then out. So can I, let me just put my drink down, and that'll fall off of there. Can I ask, why do you use hoppers instead of conveyors? And Hoppers and say the conveyors. How do you mean hoppers? Well, you said it go, gets loaded in a hopper there and then goes up and then drops into the bin. Is that purely and simply because you'd have to have four different conveyors? Yeah, yeah. You also need the height as well for the plant. Yeah. Because there's certain components of the, the, 
process. Right. You, you need to go up before you can come down. Yeah. But I mean, a lot of places that, I mean, not necessarily, you know, um, what you do, but a lot of places use like high speed conveyor belts and stuff like that, don't they? Yeah, I mean, we've, this, this is the process of this asphalt plant. Right. This is how all asphalt plants, 95% of asphalt plants will work in, in the world, really. Right, okay. So, I take it, you've only, what do you say, you've been on three weeks? Three weeks, yeah. So, you're still building your customer base at the yeah, minute? Yeah, yeah. How's it going? I've got to be careful, I don't know if you're a spy, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have a look at my YouTube ma no, panel, no, channel, yeah. mate. It's going alright, actually. Yeah, we're, we're where we thought we would be three weeks in. Good. So, yeah, just yeah. Keep, keep building. Ah, but over 600 videos, if you yeah. want to have a look at them. Yeah. What's your name? PJ. PJ. PJ Audits. Yeah. Yeah, I've got over 600 videos. But we've got another plant down in Wales. Right. This is the second plant of the company. Right. Um, down in Newport. And how long has that one been open? Uh, five years. Yeah, they're hugely successful down there. That's yeah. They do about 500 in a day on a smaller plant than this. Right. So, w what do you expect when you're working at, and I don't mean maximum capacity, but at a reasonable capacity? A day? Yeah. I think, well, the plant's capable of doing 200 to an hour. How many tonne? 200. How much is it for a tonne? Uh, <laughs> to, to you, you're talking 150, 160. Oh bloody hell, that's a lot of money. Uh, yeah, it's gone up since I, since I started. Uh, yeah, everything's gone up since I started, <laughs> mate. <laughs> when I first went into army, I used to go and get my wages £2 a week. Uh, changed days, eh? Oh, a packet of fags were less than 10 pence. Yeah. Oh right, okay, so that's a hopper. So that just transports the mixed material from plant to storage, if you like. So every 30 seconds it'll mix a batch and it'll take it up to wherever it's so, so the tower there is, the, is where it's all mixed yeah. up? Right, okay, wonderful. Yeah. Dogs do dance, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of money. It costs a lot of money. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah, what was here before this? I believe it was an um, ironworks little foundry. All oh, right, because the over there, that, 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 I take it that's some of the old building over there, is it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So have you moved down? Oh, look, a, a crane, look, or stork or whatever it is. I don't know. So have you moved down here to? Uh, uh, no, I live in um, Yorkshire. I've been down here for about fifteen years now. Oh, have you? They've not turned you into Yorkshireman yet, then. Oh, yeah. I'm still tight, but that's got some scraps. You still what, Sally? I don't like spending money. York, uh, Yorkshire well, Yorkshiremen don't like spending that's money. I mean, yeah, neither the Scottish, so. Yeah. I fit in well. Yeah. Well, Anthem, Nottinghamshire, and they're just as bad there, mate. Yeah. Really are. Really are. Mind you, I said that, I'm two miles off at, um, off at Yorkshire border, and uh, about the same off at Derbyshire border, where I am. What is it like? Right for the Works on. Yeah. Well, I'm Donny, so I'm not that far. You live in Donny? Yeah, yeah. All right. You've got a fair travel down every day, then, yeah, eh? Yeah, it's only minutes. I'm right on the, on the motorway just at the airport. All right. There's that new road in there, so. I'm flying out of there in four weeks. Are you? Yeah. Where'd you park your car? Uh, Sweet, I rent my drive out to holidaymakers. Oh, dear. <laughs> Don't put that in. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I. Uh, I used to run taxis and a friend of mine's got a taxi business and he's going to take oh, us. Where are you going? Uh, back off to Egypt, third time this year. Oh yeah? yeah YouTube, YouTube must pay some money then. I've it? just bought a two bedroom apartment out there. Ah nice. For yeah. Sharm or Hargada? Hargada. Yeah. yeah. Girlfriend's into scuba diving and stuff. Yeah. I've always fancied Egypt, never ever went because when we were going to go the trouble started and we never ever kind of went so. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Now, some of it is definitely third world. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and some of it, the massive yachts and loads of money and, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you take your life in your hand every time you cross the road. Yeah. But I do some videos out there. So, um, you know, I, um, YouTube pays for me to go. And as long as I make videos out there, that's fine. That's right. Yeah. I put it as a tax writer. <laughs>
Yeah, we like uh, we like Turkey. We go to Turkey. Yeah. And um, Dubai, we go to Dubai. So. Mm. Yeah. Last time I had out to do with Turkey, they were shooting at me. <laughs> I was in Cyprus at the time. Turks and Turks one side, Greeks on others. I was in the middle going, will you please stop get fucking shooting at me for? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a long time ago. Yeah. And we ended up at RAF Akateri out at Way. Yeah, a long time ago. I know I don't look that old, do I? I only look about 25, 26. Yeah, yeah. It's warm. Anyway, I just want to get some video of these uh, vehicles being loaded. Now, apparently, their hoppers, the big silver things above the uh, truck there, they are insulated and heated. Uh, and uh, what happens is the, uh, the asphalt is mixed. If you just look over the top of the wagon, there's like a, uh, a cabin with windows and things in there. Um, that's the control room. They control the mix. All the uh, materials for the asphalt is over the back. And what happens is it's all mixed, it's loaded in a hopper, and it gets pulled up by these wire ropes on the end here. There's a hopper coming back down, look. There it is. Now that's going, and there it is getting loaded into the vehicle. Now that hopper's going to get reloaded. And then what it's going to do is go back up and load some more onto this vehicle. Now these vehicles are heated. When they come in and out, you can see that they've got Calgas bottles on the side. Ah, it looks like he's fully loaded now. Or is it going under another hopper? Now it looks like he's fully loaded. So he'll be going on the waybridge over there. There is another vehicle coming in. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got the high ab. And what's he doing with the high ab? All oh, right, he's moved the high ab so he can go back under the hopper right so there he is back in under now see if we can catch him from the other side yeah of course he's got to move the uh, got to move the high ab to, um, to get the load in. So I can't make out whether the skip, skip's still down. So the skip's going to go up in a minute, I think. I think it's still down. I'm going to go up and offload it. We shall see very shortly. There might be some already in the hopper. It don't look like there's a lot going in there. It's taking some loading. Actually, I thought there were four loading bays, but they're not. I thought they were the black things hanging down with chutes, but they're not, they just like belting to stop the tarmac going everywhere as it comes out the old hopper. Oh, there you go, there's more coming out now. It's like it takes a bit of getting in, a bit of getting in and out. And that's it, done. Right then. So let's go and get the old drone. 
get some aerial footage. He's told me I can park the car in the car park here while I do it. Send me walking back and then back up here and then back down there again. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was a very nice chat. I was just a bit pissed that the camera stopped working. But it is very warm. And uh, I'd been filming for quite a while. They can get bloody warm, these uh, these action cameras. So you do need to be that, uh, that little bit careful about um, about watching the temperature on them. You can turn it uh, like a a software thing on, so they run a bit hotter. But I don't like that. I don't want I don't want my camera to get too hot because it can. I've got burps now from from the coat. Um, it can buggy your camera up, so I'm not so keen on that. So anyway, we're going to go back to the car, get the drone up, and uh, have a look. Right then, everybody. Dragon asphalt. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's turn it the correct way. <laughs> right, so this is the bottom bit where the uh, the asphalt actually gets loaded onto the vehicles and that's where all the mixing is done there now what we're going to do is we're going to take it up and uh, get a bit of a top-down view of it see what we can see Do we see anything really exciting? Uh, let's go up a little bit higher. So the top, where the asphalt runs up and down in the skip, is all covered over, obviously for the weather, especially when the weather's cold, etc, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a run around the yard, and see if we can uh, get a full circuit of everything. Now there's nothing about that's particularly low, but I am going to go up as we go around, just to get a, a safe perspective on the place. So there we go. It is all brand new, three weeks it's been open. But look at it, it looks really, really nice. And if you keep it like this, it's going to be a fabulous place. So that's uh, the other side of the loading area, there. And let's have a look. This here, this is the like the control room where everything's controlled from. Let's bring it back down a bit. We don't need to be that high. So that's the control room where everything's controlled from. And you can see all inside, all the workings and everything. You see the man on the roof. Well, he's not on the roof, he's on the top of the tower like. So, uh, we've got a couple of big silos there. And I think they're conveyor belts. Let's have a look anyway. That looks like the, uh, the hoppers where all the... Uh, the products for um, the asphalt is loaded and I did say that there's a big oven here and I think 
I think, hang on, oh dear, come on. I think that there is the oven. Let's see if we can swing around a bit more. Yeah, that's the oven there, look. With a big uh, exhaust coming out of it. And these look like the hoppers where everything's loaded into. So it looks like they get loaded into there. They've all got different names on. I can't see them off the uh, off the screen. And there's some more hoppers with some of the other products. So yeah, it's a very, very interesting place. Very nice people that work here. And what else can I say? Top marks to top people. Right, anyway, let's bring the old Dread Drone back. And uh, see, what, uh, see what happens when it comes back. And then, guess what? It's Poets Day. Well, it's not, it's bank holiday weekend. I'm going to bugger off home. So I'm going to fetch the drone round safely past the, uh, the works. It's going to come back over the top of the offices there. Another Weybridge there. So we've got two Weybridges. And there's the drone. And down my little baby comes. And there we go, all the way down, done and dusted. So that's uh, <laughs> that's Dragon Asphalt. We've just got one of the vehicles, uh, one of the loading buckets just clearing up now ready for the long weekend um, what wonderful people absolutely fabulous anyway if you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up please share please subscribe and guess what I will see you in the next one bye everybody see you soon